I'm joking, kinda. <laughs> All right. We're having fun. I, uh, I didn't, you know, some people would assume that being one of the, one of the token whites, I like saying whites, because it makes white people that I don't like uncomfortable. It's a real easy way to figure out what type of white person, just call them whites and see. It's not racist, but it feels uncomfortable for them, and that's good. You know what I mean? That's good. Make a white uncomfortable anytime you can. It's a good... But, uh, I, but I, I, for me, I stood out, not just by being a token white, I stood out because I was the kid that did the stupid human tricks. Yeah, don't get uncomfortable. You're having a whole goddamn comedy show tonight. This is, I had to live like this fucking guy, so fuck you if this makes you feel weird. Like some of you growing up, like you guys, like, like you, you guys, you, you, are you, you friends? You, when you were growing up, you wanted friends. So what did you do? You thought to yourself, what's different and unique to me that makes, that makes me stand out in front of other people? This is what the fuck I had. You know the saddest thing? This is the saddest thing, and this is me being real. This was my identity as a human being. Do you understand? You know, like, you know how some people were just the tall kid? They got friends because they were fucking tall? Fuck the tall kid. He didn't have to have a personality or nothing. I had to do this weird shit. And I'd say hi to people in the hallway sometimes and be like, hey, what's going on? How you doing? Yeah. <laughs> some people are hesitant at that part. Some people are like, nah, I would have shook your hand like a normal hand, but I might catch it or something. I don't know what is going on. You put your hand back and shake my hand like an adult. That's normally what happens, so I appreciate you going along with that. <laughs> it, I had the most fun with that thing my senior year of high school. I was on the wrestling team. There was a move in wrestling where somebody will try to pull your arm behind your neck to get you to roll on your back, because apparently that's uncomfortable or something. So I had a lot of fun with it. My, my last match of the year, you know, this doesn't mean anything to me. As soon as the guy pulls my arm, I just went, ah! <laughs> he got up so concerned. He was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I'm like, I'm sorry too. Gotcha, bitch. Uh, <laughs> we're fighting right now. Did you forget we're fighting? <laughs> I, uh, oh man, now that the world is opening up more, you know, people are starting to get out, hang out, take some pictures. I like being around people that like to take pictures, you know? It makes me feel weird whenever there's the person that's anti-taking a photo of a friend group. It makes me uncomfortable. They say the same thing every time. Oh my God, don't take my picture. I don't look good in pictures. I don't know what it is. I just don't look good in pictures. No, you're ugly. Uh, I'm sorry to be the one to explain this to you. Let me tell you how a picture works, okay? <laughs> you see, a picture is an exact replica of what the fuck you look like. Uh, I don't look good in pictures. You don't look good in real life. A picture says a thousand words and ugly is every one of them, let me tell you. <laughs> Uh, I'm joking, kind of. Um.